Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan from PictureMonk.com and here is another How I Edit video. This one's a little bit different because this one is actually going to be of a portrait. And this was taken a, a while back. Um, and it was, you know, me and my dad, we're, we're photography buddies. We, <laughs> we you know, we travel around and, and, uh, and try to find cool places to shoot. And uh, we didn't really, you know, it was kind of fall, uh, fall winter somewhere around there and we didn't really have any good places that we wanted to go so we thought we would get cool promo shots for our uh, our websites and so we just went to a local park and uh, took a couple different photos and this is the one that i do like uh as you can see down here there are a couple and basically he was just walking you see i missed the mark on that one he was uh way out of focus on that one and uh, pretty much all these he was way out of focus <laughs> this one he was too far back um but this one i really really did like uh, just because he was up close, he was in focus, and um, you know he kind of, it's kind of got that cool, uh, you know, real cool look on his face. You know, it, you know it's, it, it turned out pretty well for what I want it to be. So in this video, I'm going to kind of go go around and show you how I would edit this, and um, just kind of go from there and just see where it takes us. So let's go and get started. The first thing that I want to do is I do know because it was kind of a you know a crappy day outside um, not a lot of leaves on the trees not a lot of color might as well go ahead and make it black and white not a big deal um, let's see uh, as you can tell if we turn it back to color you can see there was a little bit of lens flare the, the overall photo is kind of hazy um, and that has to do with the, uh, the the sun shooting right into the sun got a little bit of flare here uh, turning that to black and white kind of minimizes that a little bit but this is where one uh, one instance where the D Hayes slider, the new D Hayes slider, comes into uh, comes into play because this will allow me to take some of the haze off of the photo. Normally, I don't really mess with the D Hayes slider during daytime shoots, but as you can see, as I slowly slide it, I start to get a, a much more clear, crisp photo, and so that automatically adds a bunch of contrast to the photo, which I do want. So I'm going to go back up here to the basics and start doing my basics. I am going to increase the contrast a little more, increase the clarity a little more, and I'm already starting to get a lot of crunch going on in the photo, which is good. Um, one of my favorite things to do is always do a fade, even though I increase the contrast, seeing how the fade would work. So the quickest way to do that is just to create one point right around here and kind of pull this first point up, and as you can see, it kind of fades. That's one of the the easiest ways to do it. Uh, I think I think I'm I don't like that as much, so I'm just going to take that point away, go back to normal there, and maybe increase the contrast just a little more. Maybe bring up the whites a little bit to make it a little more punchy. Right around there. Not going to mess with any of the colors, split toning. I am going to go do my sharpening. Right around there. I'm good with the way that looks. And now one of the other things that I do want to do is do a uh, radial filter here. So I'm going to increase the radial filter over him. And then I'm going to invert it so everything that I do affects the outside, not inside. So I'm going to take that back down. I'm going to keep the clarity the where it, where it is there. I'm going to increase take down the sharpness so it's kind of a you know, it's kind of a lens blur, that sort of thing. Uh, just kind of kind of go along with, I was using a 50 millimeter taking the shot. And so uh, I already had a, a pretty, pretty blurry background. So this one will enhance it just a little bit. So I like that. I still keep wanting to mess with the clarity. I'll do that one. And let's see what else just to brighten up his face just a little bit. I'm cool with how the blacks look, but I'm going to get a uh, adjustment brush and paint a little bit of brightness in his face just to make that stand out a little more. So I'll paint over there. I'll move that back down. Right around there. Take the contrast up to darken the glasses. And let's see what clarity will do. Bump that down. There we go. All right. So just a real quick promo shot. Uh, real quick edit for that one. Maybe bump the contrast or the clarity up a little more. Just see how that looks. 
All right, so I do like that final product. It's a good kind of motion action shot. You know, you got the photographer with his camera walking down trying to find a good photo. And so uh, let's see what the before and after looks like. So this is where we started. Not too bad of a shot, but I do like the crin the crunchy, crisp black and white better. I like that a lot better, and I think it turned out pretty well. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick portrait edit. Uh, head on over to PictureMonk.com for a lot of other photography tutorials. Uh, remember, remember to subscribe to the channel, and also check out the Picture Monk Photography Podcast. Uh, just go to PictureMonk.com slash podcast, and you can subscribe to that there where we talk about a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, just yeah, check back in, and I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.